Hi, welcome to the Tiny Bookcase, and today is an Ipsy Glam Bag Day. I just received this Ipsy Glam Bag yesterday, so I wanted to get into the bag. Um, in the past, uh, with everything going on, I think I skipped a month and um, or I delayed the unbagging videos because I didn't have time to post them or even video tape them. So stick around and join me for another Ipsy Glam Bag unbagging. So this is the first month in a long time that I got quite a hefty bag so I'm curious to see what's in here. It's a lot heavier than it's been in quite some time. Um, it wasn't even this heavy at, in December when usually you get a little, sometimes you get a little extra or something uh, really cool in your bag. Yeah, so I'm really curious what's in this bag, so let's just dive into it. So right away I can tell that there's something hefty in this bag, and I'm really curious to see what it is, so I'm just going to pull that out first. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's a palette. Um, I was not expecting this. This is is the glam bag i assure you and i did not upgrade so i am quite curious why this is in my bag but oh my god i don't know if this is a mistake on ipsy's part but it is a palette um morillo i think that's what it says i'm not sure um but let me slide this open and see um i would refer to the card but i'm not sure if there's going to be a card with products on this time oh my goodness yes it is Morio twins i think that's how you pronounce it beauty creations and it says britney so i don't know if britney is the name of the palette um but it is it it is an eyeshadow palette i wasn't sure what kind of palette it was I wasn't sure if it was a facial palette um but it is an eyeshadow palette there's some qu quite lovely um, colors in this palette. It's very vibrant. Um, let me swatch a couple for you right now. I'm gonna swatch some of the vibrant ones just to see how they measure up. And okay, so here are some of the, let me put this on the side, some of the ones I've swatched. So I swatched this pink one right here. I swatched this purple one, this um, blue shimmer, and this shimmer right here on the top corner. Um, and for the most part, they came out pretty good. Um, I don't know if the quality, how the quality is um, with the brush, because we all know that that changes everything. But oh my goodness, um, thank you Ipsy, because... This is quite lovely. I'm very happy to receive. Like I said, uh, from time to time, you can receive. I'm sure this is, I mean, I can't believe that this is a deluxe sample, but may, maybe it is. Um, Yeah, here is the back of it. So you can see what the back of it, it is a signature. I'm so sorry. I don't know who this is. Um, if you do, um, please leave me a comment down below because I'm quite curious to know who, who I'm sure I'm gonna do some research now um, to find out who this person is because I feel kind of bad that I don't know them um, but I thank you for your palette and uh, let's move on now with the rest of this I'm bagging because I'm, I'm really like kind of like shocked <laughs> um, by that that palette <laughs> that's never happened before and um the card is outside of the bag this month so it says show your colors um june 2022 show your colors summer summer is coming in hot and it is hot here and where i am in central texas it is like 100 um well it's been 100 for several days um i'm not sure today if we're gonna hit 100 but we usually do so um it is hot turn up the heat with bold styles and vibrant shades that show what makes you one of a kind after all there's no hue, hue as unique as you so it says to scan the little um code here uh for this month's theme and oh my goodness there is a card with products in here so i'm gonna put that to the side 
and I'm going to see if there's any more. Yes, there is another item outside this bag. It is a brush. So we have this brush by LaRousse. I think that's how you pronounce the name. It's just a gray, um, kind of ribbed, um, feels like silicone or something. Um, it's pretty soft, so, um, not sure, uh, how much, uh, not sure what kind of brush this is, but I'll put that to the side. I always like to get brushes. Um, there is, okay, maybe that was, there was, uh, a bubble wrap in here but I'm guessing that's what the palette was in because there's nothing in it now so now without further ado I'm going to take out this bag and wow so this is a really vibrant shade for this month's bag it is um those little um perforated uh, circles it's see-through so I wouldn't say that this is going to be a lot of um security for your products if you're carrying them in here um, maybe if you're going to the beach or something that this might be something you might want to use because, um, if you get anything wet, you know, it's not going to mess up your backs. It will dry out with those, um, holes being there. But on the zipper pull, we have a cute little watermelon and there is the Ipsy Local on the back. So this is really cute. Um, I really like this bag, even though it's not... I, I don't like that it has those little holes, even though I know it's good for, like, if you were taking it to the beach. So I'm going to take out the first item, and I already saw that it was a box. Um, and, oh my goodness, uh, I think this is a blush. Um, it looks like it's a, it says blushed, blushed up by Ace Beauty, so I'm, that, I'm guessing that that's what this is. Let me take it out of the package. Um, bear with me. Okay, yes, I'm, there it is. Here it is right there. There is a blush. And it looks a little... Let's see. Let me open this. I'm trying to be careful because in the past I've had bad luck with it breaking on me. Okay, that opened up pretty good. So here it is close up. Let me swatch it. Ooh, I'm trying to find... I'm using my thumb. And I'm going to put it right here so you can see... There it is, right there. Um, it went up pretty easily. I wasn't, I don't get any excess powder when I swatched it, so um, I'm curious. I'm very curious to try this on my face and see how it looks. Um, but let's get back into the bag. So I have another box, and this one is from Plum, and it's, it's Candy Mel's. Candy Mel's. So. I'm wondering if this is some kind of, um, okay, you have to pull this little tab off. Oh, so I'm killing this box right off the bat. And yes, it is a little pot. I'm guessing this is gloss. This is Candy Mills. It is a lip balm. I can't tell what and what, uh, if there's a flavor to scent or something, but I will open it for you, and we have a little protective film covering. Oh my goodness, this up for us, which is very appreciative, but it was just hard to get out. And there it is. Um, it does have a fruity scent to it. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dig into that because my hands are all dirty. But um, I love getting lip balms. There was. A lip balm for a choice this month I didn't pick it because there was another item that I liked and um, I was like back and forth on it in the end I didn't get the lip balm so I'm glad I did receive a lip balm I don't think this is the lip balm though that they were um, featuring it does kind of look like it but um, I, I think it just looks like it because of the color but I got what I actually got and I'm guessing this is what was left in my bag Yes, um, I got this Lovecraft Beauty um, eye pencil in, I believe it was um, silver. It was a silver color. I think this is piercer. So I will swatch that for you. Oh my goodness, I got a little piece of it flaked off. But there it is. It's pretty vibrant. It, come, it came off super smooth. I was a bit, it comes out really smooth. So um, I think you need to use a light hand when you're using it. Um, but um, I like silver 
eyeliners and I hardly ever see them and I tend not to, I haven't been purchasing makeup much ever since COVID. I kind of just use the products that I get in my Ipsy Glam bag and that usually kind of lasts me until the next bag comes. Um, so I was really excited when I saw this but I was also bummed because I wanted that lip balm as well. So I got the eyeliner and I chose the eyeliner and I still got a lip balm. Um, so I'm happy, really happy with the bag this month. So I'm going to go back to the card and refer back to here. So right at the top is our Ace Beauty Blushed Up Blush in Peachy. So that's the name of the shade. It is a deluxe sample. And the full size price for this uh, product is $30, I believe. The next um, item on the card is the LaRousse Beauty um, tapered blending brush in gray so this brush right here it's a blending brush and that is um, I believe full size and yeah full size and it runs for $28 so uh, $28 value the next item on the card is the plum candy melt vegan lip balm in melon yeah, bubble yum okay so that was a fruity scent i couldn't figure out what it was but apparently it's melon bubble yum and this is a deluxe sample full size price uh value is twelve dollars um the next item is my uh choice product for this month love craft beauty gel eyeliner in piercer and this is a full size product and it is um I believe $12 so it's $12 value so we already have um, like a I want to say um, a $40 value already um, just in these two items alone and the last product I'm sorry I'm tongue tied the last product on my card is the Beauty Creations Cosmetics Britney's eyeshadow palette and this is full size and the value is oh my goodness I think it's a 77 unless that's a 17 but I don't know so I will put it down below because my eyes are failing me that last that first number is either a 7 or a 1 and I really can't tell without my glasses I know I always say I'm not wearing my glasses I I'm not I don't wear my glasses because they just don't fit and I need to replace them and I just haven't done that. So um, that's why I say I'm not wearing my glasses. Um, but um, I will put the price of the palette down below in the description box. So you can find out what the full size value of that, um, that palette is. But I will have to say this is the best Ipsy Glam bag um, I think I've ever gotten. Um, but I'm not sure. So you'll have to watch the rest of my videos. Um, for my unbaggings to find out, I mean, but that's really subjective. It just depends, like, what do you think and it, what I think, so. But I have to say, for value-wise, for what I pay uh, a month, yes, I think that this is the best one I've gotten. Because um, I was really surprised to receive this palette um, in an Ipsy Glam bag. Um, let me know what you received. I'm really curious if a lot of other customers received this palette in their Glam bag. Or, you know, obviously it was a mistake because it's on my card. <laughs> so, obviously that's not a mistake. I was kind of like thinking, oh, am I going to have to call them and tell them, you sent me this <laughs> palette. <laughs> and I just have a glam bag, not a glam bag plus, or I don't know what the other one's called. But um, I really thank you for joining me for this video. If you have stayed around for this long, I appreciate it so much. And perhaps you might consider subscribing to my channel but if not that's fine too um i'm very happy that you have watched this video and maybe consider to come back and watch more like this um i do usually do mostly book content on my channel but you know from time to time i will put in you know a random uh video of um some uh hauls or um other uh events that are going on like right now my daughter is making a quinceanera so if you know what that is um that's coming up soon in july and so i'm really um at you know like the uh, it's been pretty hectic and crazy around my house right now um which is why this video um i'm 
I just was trying to hurry up and get this one out for you because I know that people are already getting their bags. Probably a lot have already gone up. So I hope you enjoy the video. Um, I, I am planning to film another video soon um, for Jane Austen July. So um, be on the lookout for that for all you who are uh, subscribed to my channel because of the book content. So if you do not know what Jane Austen July is, it is a readathon that takes place in July, hence the name Jane Austen July. It is created by Katie from Books and Things, and she does have hosts with her this year. Um, so I will put a link to her channel, uh, her announcement video for Jane Austen July. But yes, I plan to do a video soon about Jane Austen July, so be on the lookout for that for all of you who are here um, that do like to watch the book content that I do post. So. That should come out soon, hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed that that'll get out soon. I am still kind of tweaking my TBR. It's going to, it's really just going to depend on um, time constraints because, like I said, I have some events coming up. So I'm just going to leave this here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate your viewership and thank you for watching again. But until next time, take care. God bless. See you soon.